which way by this extraordinary woman who comes from the outside, this exotic beauty who's very alien to all of us, who comes into our environment and transforms everything. She's a complicated person, I would say. She's either a uh, manipulative, poisoning femme fatale, or she's a very vulnerable mourning widow who's just looking for safety in a safe harbour to mourn for her dead husband. But she's also very sexually liberated and uh, believes that she should be financially independent and maybe earn a living, God forbid. And then, but those things are very shocking in the mid-19th century. She's dark and she's mysterious. She's a bit like the Mona Lisa. You never quite know what she's thinking. If you cover up one half of her face, she's saying one thing, and the other half, she's saying another. And yet she's full of life and full of uh, spontaneity and uh, you, you, you believe her in every scene. You never feel that she's manipulating this poor boy who's so besotted by her. You believe that um, she really is all the things that she says she is. Uh, and slowly the evidence against her mounts up and as an audience member you've got to make up your own mind about it. I think it's just an interesting piece for actors, uh, this, because a lot of there's a lot of things unsaid and there's lots of kind of subtext that happen um, between and underneath the lines and I think that's uh, that's always more interesting to play, to kind of play the subtleties of different tones without having to kind of like hit the nail on the head with everything. You're constantly having to change your mind about who's in the right and who's in the wrong. It's sexy, it's uh, passionate, it's weird as anything, it's uh, very modern in its sensibilities and it's got a great ending. Well, hopefully it will, it will kind of rouse a debate in them that uh, they'll, people, some people think she's innocent, some people think she's guilty, some people say, I'm not sure, I need to see it again. Um, so debate, like a passionate, passionate debate, hopefully.